Hey guys, what's up? Yeah, I know it's been a while. Um, actually, I've waited. I've been waiting two and a half weeks to do this video. Why? Because um, the post office, unfortunately, has been um, delayed on things, if you will. And um, and finally, the package arrived today. I mean, this thing has been in limbo for about 10 days now. It's pretty crazy with the post office. But anyway, the reason we're here today was because, as you guys know, I've been enjoying the crap out of my um, my SRP 777 and taking it out to, um, you know, the ocean and going boating with it. And this, this watch just... Eh, I, 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 I can't say good enough things about this watch. This watch is freaking fantastic. Oh, you know what? Wristwatch check before uh, we keep going further. Of course, what am I wearing? Yes, the Gentleman Racer, the Blanchard Gentleman Racer. Um, let me tell you, let me stop that. Um, I was timing my wife because she she's outside talking. I was like, how long is it going to take before she, she stops talking, comes into the house? Anyway, so I... I I know it's my design and I know I shouldn't uh, boast about it, but I just love the design. It's just fantastic. And uh, yesterday I've been actually wearing this watch and enjoying it. And um, I still don't have the metal bracelet bracelet for it. Um, I mean, it's, they send me a picture of the buckle and they send me the plans and uh, it's just, everything's really slow where they're building it in Hong Kong. Uh, hopefully I'll get that uh, metal bracelet maybe sometime uh maybe in the next month and then i can do some really good pictures with my watch in the middle of bracer right now it's on the uncle sickle strap and yesterday i was actually i felt since it was a monday i decided to wear something that you know can clear my mind a little bit here let's just, let's just clean that up a little bit i was wearing the gentleman razor here let's put them both side to side and I removed the the bezel that it had, which was, uh, where's my bezel? It was the, sorry, the 60 minute bezel with the hour marker. So I removed that and I just put the plain bezel and it's just so sexy, just, so I was wearing this one yesterday, of course, the steel dial representing uh, the brake rotors on cars. But anyway, as I was saying, you know, I got my Blanchard Gentleman Racer with a reverse panda dial on an on a Uncle Seiko. And I have the same Uncle Seiko strap on my SRP777, but this is a 22 and this one is 20. It gets hot here in Miami, so I couldn't wear the leather. Here's the leather. Here's the leather strap that comes with the Gentleman Racer. But it, it was just, you know, you sweat too much down here. So that's why I had the Uncle Seiko strap. But one thing that I love is I love bracelets. And um, I've been really, really, really contemplating about getting myself the uh, SPB 151, which is a Willard, the new Willard release at 42 millimeters. And I said, you know what, before I do that, let me get a, a steel bracelet on my SRP 777 and maybe that, that's all I need and I don't need to spend the money on the SPB. SPB is a really cool looking watch, but I'm not sold on it. Just picture wise, I'm not sold. I really need to get my hands on one and see if I really want to spend the $1,300 to get one. In the meantime, though, I um, sold a couple of watches because, as you know, I've been reducing my collection down to just six watches. And um, I had my uh, my GMT slot filled, which was with the Panerai Radio Mirror GMT. I just got that back from service. They really needed it. I mean, I, had, I hadn't served this in 10 years. And my wife uh, took such a liking to it that said, she says, I want to keep it. And I was fine with it. I was fine with it for two reasons. One, I had myself a um, Steinhardt vintage, Ocean's 39 vintage GMT, which I love that watch. But unfortunately, I got into a mountain biking accident and I destroyed that watch. I mean, literally, I hit the bezel so hard that it cracked the ceramic. And it froze the bezel. So I had to call Steinhardt to see if they can send me a new one. And um, I'm just waiting for it now. Uh, that's how much I like the watch. I'm actually going to spend some extra money. And the bezel, you can only get a bezel with a ceramic with a new case. So it's going to be, I'm going to basically recase the watch, which I'm okay with because I love that watch. But then again, I had another watch that I've been looking for for years. And let me tell you, three days ago, 
it popped up on eBay. It was the year that I wanted, and it was the hands that I wanted. Uh, I'll do a video of that one when uh, it arrives, but let's just say it's going to complement this guy, my Speedmaster, Apollo 17 Speedmaster. You'll see why it's going to complement it. But for today, let's talk about what I got here, which, as I was, as I was saying, was a bracelet. Now, where did I get the bracelet from? I got it from Uncle Seiko as well. Uncle Seiko makes beautiful bracelets, beautiful rubber bands. And, uh, you know, this is a Tropic, and then they also have the Waffle, which I, which I do have. And this Tropic really works really well. It's still a little stiff, but, you know, that's because it takes a while for it uh, for you to train it around. But if you see, when I first got it, it was straight. Now it's slightly, but surely getting trained. And But I'm a bracelet guy. I've always been a bracelet guy. And then Uncle Seiko does a... A Jubilee bracelet, uh, a President bracelet, which is like um, kind of like oysterous, but really thick, almost bullet, I guess bullet bracelet, you can call it that. They do a razor wire bracelet, which I don't really particularly like. And they do one more, one more. What's the other one that they do? Oh, that's right. They do an oyster. And that's what I got because, you know, frankly, this watch, uh, it, it, Jubilee is too fancy for it. Uh, the President, I was thinking about it, but it's kind of a bulky one. Here's a picture of one. And I think it would be too bulky for this watch. There's already enough bulk going on in here. So I went with a tried and true oyster bracelet. And um, I think it's going to look really good on this. And I think I'm probably just not going to be, uh, you know, wearing it on the Tropic anymore. Because, well, let's see how it goes. Okay, let's open this sucker up. As you guys know, Uncle Seiko usually comes with a couple of nice little stickers inside. It's a couple of nice goodies. Last time he sent me... Um, a, a koozie, a beer koozie, which I have used. Let's see, the beer koozie. Let's see what we got in here today. So, yes, there she is. It's empty. So, the usual, we get ourselves a nice little discount card and a little sticker this time, which is nice. And then, of course, the big sticker. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> what am I doing? The big sticker. So, yeah, I, gosh, I really love this watch so much. Okay, so here's the Oyster Bracelet. Let's see how she looks. And why don't you like her? Ah, there she is. So here's the Oyster Bracelet. Funny enough, hmm, it looks a lot like my um, the Gentleman Racer uh, bracelet. Kind of has that look to it, so... You know what? I might just try something and see. Oh, that's going to look so good. <laughs> I mean, I can't do this here. But, well, no, let's see. This is the 22. I would have to get the 20 on there. But you know what? These are This is going to look good. This is going to look very good. So give me a second while I take off all this, um, all this plastic from it. And then I'll just go to quick glance. Because you know what? There's really no reviews on the Oyster from Uncle Seiko, at least I haven't seen any on YouTube, so I wanted to show you guys, so you guys can get a good look. It's got a, it doesn't feel tinny, it feels it feels very well manufactured. I wonder if it's the same company that's doing my bracelet. That would be very interesting. Okay, let me get right back to you. Okay guys, um, I didn't press record, so <laughs> everything I just did, I didn't record, that's funny. I gotta, I gotta look at the little thing, but all in all, um, very nice bracelet, it's got a good, Good heft to it. I would say it might feel, I mean, if I take my my Omega, it definitely, when you move it around, it feels solid, it feels, it feels nice and strong. This one feels a little bit, even though they're solid, it feels a little bit tinier. Maybe it's just because of time, but it, it looks really nice. I do like these little two little release. So you open it up, boom, and you release it. So that's a nice little safety that it has. I really like that a lot. Um, for the price of 59 bucks, it's actually <laughs> it's a very, very nice oyster bracelet. And um, with the price of this watch, it's going gonna, it's gonna to look fantastic on it. So let me get back to you guys. I'm going to uh, take off the Tropic strap and put on the oyster. Well, it's a good thing I did that off camera because it took me a while. 
to put him on. Um, I, I guess I was just um, just wasn't lining things up properly. But let me tell you, <laughs> it looks really good, guys. It looks really, really good. I mean, it's it's totally changed the feel of this watch. It actually feels much fancier now. Well, let's not say fancier. Let let's say it feels a little bit more expensive now. It does. Um, let's, uh, unfortunately, I just noticed that these guys are the push. I don't know if they're the push um, collar. I don't know which ones they are. I'm going to have to go on the side and find out. I mean, I do have a tool to push these out, but I, I've never really done one of these. I've always done the screw ones. So i got to be careful on how to do this. I don't want to scratch things up. Although if I look down here, it looks like a screw there. But the other ones still look like screws. And have little arrows facing this way. So I guess they're pushed this way. I need to take off, I think, just maybe one link. And that should do it. I have a seven and a half inch wrist. So there you go. There's my SRP777 on an Uncle Seiko bracelet. It looks... It looks really, really good, um, which leads me to the point of, should I, I don't think, I don't think, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to, I need to get my hands on a Willard and see if I really dig it that much. If I do, then, um, then I'll buy one. But I mean, this kind of sort of takes care of that itch that I have for the Will Willard. I just love this watch. Okay, guys. That's it for today. I can't wait to do the video. Hopefully this uh, this next watch is coming in, comes in on time. I have a big race uh, the 4th through the 6th in, at Sebring. So I'm hoping it gets here before then so I can actually uh, do a quick video of it. And you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay, guys, until the next watch. Good morning, guys. It is uh, 7.40, I woke up uh, about 30 minutes ago. Um, wanted to uh, give a quick update of the Uncle Seiko Oyster. Um, a couple things that I forgot to mention. Okay, uh, well the, pri the thing about this, I slept with it last night, it was extremely comfortable. And um, honestly, I don't, I don't see myself putting it back on the, where is that rubber strap? The, the tropic straps. I mean, I, I'm a bracelet guy, so it's going to remain on this. I wanted to just uh, mention a couple of things. I mean, from the fact that, I mean, there's really, there's no gaps there. And the price from Uncle Seiko is at 59 bucks. Now, uh, there's another company out there that does make these. It's called Strap Code. I think you get them through Long Island Watch Company. Uh, those are $79. Now, I was wondering why there's a big price difference between the two. Uh, they're basically almost the same. The biggest difference that I could tell was that the Uncle Seiko uh, bracelet uses pins. So when you have pins, you need like a, a cheapy tool like this so you can push out the pin so you can... Uh, you know, adjust it. But once you adjust it, you, you really don't need this anymore. And if you hear heavy breathing, that's my dog. He wants me to take him out for a walk. Um, and uh, the strap code one actually has the the screw in, so it's a lot. If you don't have one of these guys, you know, if you and you have a you know a little uh, flathead screwdriver that you can put in there, then you know it's it's going to be much easier to size this bracelet. But the reality is, um, you know, you can't go wrong on 59 bucks. Uh, if you go on UncleSeiko.com, you will notice that for this particular bracelet at 59 bucks, he does mention that um, the last few remaining ones that he has of the of the oyster, it's uh, he lowered the price to 59 because some of them have issues. He says like little pinholes or something like that in the metal. I have yet to find any issues with this one, so I guess I must have gotten one of the really good ones. But 
Or maybe there was like, like a little scratch or something like that on one of them. Maybe right there, yeah. See, like right there, there's something going on there. See, but the thing is, is I don't know if that's because I've been wearing it for, you know, since last, since yesterday. It doesn't matter. Either way, um, this Uncle Seiko um, oyster is fantastic. And I highly recommend to go to uh, UncleSeiko.com and get the bracelet. He also has, of course, the what people call the President bracelet, uh, the Jubilee the razor wire, oh man, he's got, oh, the H pattern is the other one that he has. Um, I think with uh, SRP777, the the Oyster is the one that should go uh, with this watch. It's just, um, you know, tried and true design, and it's very tooly. The President, I think, would be too bulky. It's already a pretty bulky watch to begin with. So I think it would just like add too much bulk to it. One, th one thing's for sure, I mean, I've been looking at my watch since last night and having it on this Oyster, I mean, all I can say, it's it's all business now. This <laughs> this is meant to, uh, to uh, as a tool watch, to go out there and use and beat up and, um, and not worry about it. So <sighs> just another update, I keep updating myself. Um, it is, uh, I did a six mile jaunt this morning with my um, Uncle Seiko um, Oyster bracelet and um, very comfortable. And I, I, that's sorry, that's my dog in the background uh, crying because he wants to be in here. And uh, let me tell you, uh, I don't think I'm going to get to Willard now. It's kind of a, it's kind of a slow burn with this bracelet. At first I was like going, well, you know what? I like it, you know, I'll probably keep it on for a while and then, you know, and then I'll, uh, and I'll probably switch back. But after walking with it and just staring down at it and looking at my, looking at the time and looking at the bracelet, I'm just going, wow, I think, uh, I think the, the, com uh, this watch mod is complete. I don't think I'm going to, uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to go get the Willard. I'm really happy with this. I will have to say the only thing I have noticed, and of course you can't really control this because if it's not made at the same factory, you're going to get differences in the metal. It's 316L steel, so is this. But if you notice, the shade is a little off. I mean, you can really see it now in 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 this light, but the reality is outside you don't really notice it unless you like you know go into shade or something like that. But you know, the second you flip it around, it becomes the same color. So. Um, that's, that's it, man. It's, it's fantastic. I think this will be <laughs> the final, the final video on this. So, um, let me do it. You know what? Let me do it. There you go. And now, until the next one.